let's find out more about the vehicles of the future or else the future of the e-car. And we're joined today by Gernot Lobenberg, the director of the Berlin Agency for Electromobility. That means you own an electric car, right? I have an electric car for my work uh, when, I, when I go to some, some meetings. But in private, I don't uh, use and don't have a known car. So I use car sharing and bike and metro or whatever. Okay, how come? Are you not uh, convinced uh, e-cars are really good? Yeah, this, that's a new part for the mobility system in the future, but it's a part. And mm -hmm. the, the, the future is that you have a multi-modality. -model that means that you use that um, car or metro or bus that you need in that moment. Okay, uh, you just talk it's uh, for the future and right now uh, the present doesn't look that uh, good for e-cars. We heard how few e-cars are on the roads in Germany. How do you explain that they are just not attractive it seems? They are very expensive today but the battery prices were going down and the oil price will, will go up. So let's say in five or ten years there will be a big deal to buy uh, electric cars mm -hmm. then but today it's still expensive but for some use cases it's good for for example in fleets when you drove when you drive a lot then it's it's cheap to drive an electric car because in the in the usage it's it's uh, much um, uh, cheaper yeah. than, uh, than a diesel car, for yeah. example. So, so, so you mentioned some clear advantages there with the e-car. And I mean, we remember a few years ago, e-mobility was the buzzword. All the big car companies uh, invested heavily in electromobility. Uh, all of that has died down now. Why is that? I think that was a hype. And it's not good to have a hype in, in technology. But we will see in five or ten years, we will see that there's a long, long time. But then we will see the way to electromobility today. And we have in Berlin a, a, a 500 cars at the moment, and this is still going up, the number. Mm -hmm. Well, you say five to ten uh, years. Brussels wants to see one million e-cars on the roads in Europe by 2020. That's seven years from now. What are the odds? I think it is, it's not important to have this in 2020. The 1 million will come, but maybe some years later. What we have to do today, the laws and the innovation, that this future will come in 2020 and 2025. And that's important for today. Okay, Gernot Lubenberg, thank you very much for joining us today.